Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 19 to 21. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you another morning of praise and thanksgiving for waking us up and for preserving our life. For dear Lord, without you, we can do nothing and we cannot promise our own selves that we're going to wake up to see another day, nor can we promise ourselves that we're going to live out or see the end of this day because it is not in our power. And if we as mankind would humble ourselves and know this thing and know that there is one that is in control, then we can therefore um, come on to repentance knowing that the things that we have done against this true one is, is punishable by death. But we thank you, thee, O Lord, that you have given us the remission of sin through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I pray that you forgive us for all those times that we have been hard-hearted and high-headed or filled with pride, thinking that we are in control of this life, think that we are going to build up and put down or do whatever and set out to now lord forgive us for each time that we think that we are in control and that you are nothing but nothing i pray for your forgiveness and dear lord as we ask for forgiveness i pray that we also are forgiving those who have done wrong against us and we know that this is a key element in serving you because you, you have promised us that if we have if we don't sin, I mean if we don't forgive others of their trespasses, you will not do so for us either. So in our humility, in our meekness, I pray that you continue to let us walk this life. And as I said, we should be working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But dear Lord, we know that we do not want to reside in fear forever and ever. So I pray that although we start off in this fear unto repentance, I pray that we continue to seek you and to grow in you. And in growing in you, we will grow in the likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ and grow in your love so that we may abide in your love. And as your word said, perfect love alleviates or gets rid of all fear so this is what we want you to manifest and be perfected in us is your love dear lord so that we can shine your light and glory to all mankind and as always let us pray that you continue to help each and every one of us through our tests and trials all of our brothers and sisters and ourselves who are going through persecution or affliction or any such thing because of the stance and the steadfastness that we have in you. Help us so we do not falter. Help us that we do not fall or stumble or anything. But be upright and strong and strengthened all the days of our life continuing in you. And I pray that our children as always continue with you and in you from the youth. We learned of you and knowing you from the youth so that when they are of age they shall not depart from the truth lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning let us be edified so that we can better know and understand what is it we ought to be doing this life so i thank you lord jesus for everything continue to help us and to bless our days as we go along in this perverse world through jesus christ our lord and savior we pray amen okay so Isaiah chapter 43 verses 19 to 21 says, Behold, I will do... No, sorry, it's 18 to 21. Let's read from 18 to 21. So it says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in desert in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Amen. And um, Isaiah, as we always say, this is this is one of them prophets that got referred to quite a bit in the New Testament. Um, our Lord Jesus Christ referred to him and his writings, and um, even the 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 disciples referred to him and his writings, right? So we saw that he was led of the Spirit quite a bit. And all prophets um, that were righteous in the sight of God and did what he wanted to do, they, they walked by the Spirit of God, right? They kept the commandments of God and they feared God, right, in doing what he said. So if we read this here, verses 18 to 21, First of all, yes, this text is used quite a bit to explain away um, God doing new things in our lives. But um, this morning, I'm going to small speak on it based on the context of this chapter, how it was written and why it was written. Right. And um, this, the verses before was just God reminding his people. I will know his people before, um, well, everybody is his. Don't, don't get me wrong, you know, everyone is his because he created all of mankind. But we know that there was one set of people chosen out of all the peoples um, to bring, to show forth his glory. And that was the, the people of Israel, right? We know that they didn't do it really because um, we have the accounts in the scriptures that there are um, many a times we as mankind reverted back to detestable things, worshipping false God, etc. I was reading with my friend the other day, Second Kings chapter, what was it, like 21 or something like that. And it was just showing you how the people um, did very about that. If you think of the things that God hate, it was just doing it times one million, right? And King Josiah, um, he went and cleaned up the land, right? But as soon as he he passed away, it just it just reverted back to 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 wickedness, right? So yeah, these these scriptures before was speaking about yes, God is the God of Israel. He's the the one of His chosen, right? And it always spoke about those who have eyes to, to see, will see, and ears to hear, would hear, right? It was even speaking about the bringing forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf people that have ears. So I said all of that now to say how this was just a foreshadow of the talk, the um, speaking of the coming of our, our Christ, our Lord, our Savior Jesus, right? So if we remember the thing former things of old even in the script in the same chapter here it was even referring to certain things of old um primarily when jesus when christ the spirit of christ led the people through through um the wilderness when they were sa saved from egypt right by the hand of moses right and um we also see it even made reference of the fire won't won't burn you like if you walk through the fire and we know that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they, these ones were in the fire furnace for well, I think three days and three nights if I'm not mistaken and nothing happened to them only the, the, the cord that they were bound with burnt away and I believe even in a book another book it speaks of Abraham or Abraham before yeah being cast into a furnace also and same he didn't he didn't he wasn't consumed by the fire so these are some of the former things that we remember right and if we remember these things and god was able to do all of these things there's nothing limiting him to do it now in this day and age and i say that moreover that christ has come into this world to glorify our heavenly father 
right? These individuals that did this of all times, they yes, they were still being um, kept by the same spirit that keeps us today, right? But we now are in a position so much greater that every single one that calls upon the name of the Lord can be saved if we continue in what all of what he says, right? Right? It's not just saying his name, Jesus, and we are saved. It's literally acknowledging him, yes, calling upon his name, and then doing what he has commanded us right you can't just call upon somebody's name and then go against them and say and still yet say that you're serving them no you're, you're speaking um folly right so yes this this scripture as i said there we, we, if we if we if we if we we don't we, we can even look back on these examples and say the Lord has been faithful to his people from the beginning of time, those who love him, right? How much more is he going to do for us now? Because as we said, he does a new, this was Isaiah prophesying to the people then, but we know that the new thing also he has done in the world, he has brought forth that, that child that we know as Jesus, right? The Christ. And he has done all things, right? And he has made a way in the wilderness. He has brought forth living waters in the desert of our hearts, right? He has given us the nourishment of the Spirit because through him we can have the Holy Spirit if we ask of God, right? And he maketh the way, right? Even in the scripture here it says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Notice that it spoke singular, a way in the desert, right? Not many ways, but a way, showing you the singularity. And this is again showing and testifying of our Lord Jesus Christ, because he himself testified. That's why I said like the scriptures, they just, they just, they just answer each other, right? It's flawlessly um, intertwined. Right, because Jesus Christ testified and said he is the way, the truth, and the life. So he's showing you again singularity to show that there is no other way to get to our Heavenly Father but by him. Nobody else can preach another doctrine that shows you that you can do any other thing to get to our Heavenly Father. But by doing and showing forth the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, yeah. I said the beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. And we know the people of God, the chosen in this day and age, it just is not limited to Israel. And it's not limited to Israel because he says he shall do he shall he has come for God so come um, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So they're showing you that any single soul on this face of this earth, whatever sect, whatever um, nationality, um, background, um, so called race, or anything at all that you are from, as long as you um, put your trust and your faith in. Our Lord Jesus, and as I said, abiding in him, and in abiding in him, we do what he has commanded us to do, and that boils down to loving one another as he has taught us. As long as we are doing this, we are his chosen people, and we are referred to as his body, his bride, his wife, the church, right? And as I said, these people have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. And as I said, as Israel was to do it in the old covenant, which they broke, now in the new covenant given to us by the shedding of the blood of Christ Jesus, because for the new the covenant to, had come in, it had to resort in the death of the testate of the old one, right? So that it was broken completely. That's why we have this new covenant through Christ Jesus. And um, these people that he has formed, for himself is chosen as i said we are known as his church his body his bride his wife his elect right so 
yeah i'll leave it at that this morning and i said that just a few verses there just wanted to read it in context with what it was saying because as as i said this this primarily verse 19 it i've it, it mostly be um spoken about of how god is just going to do new things in our life um that explanation which is good is a good analogy but sometimes we, we have to just look back how the text what what it was written in the context of the of the the book what it was written in right so i'll leave it at that this morning any questions at all send them into the word at dtreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me and taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principle according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up tomorrow